Hello and welcome to Lawns Brain Co, a channel of love and today is something a bit different. Um, I don't get to uh, review other people's beers and I tend not to do it anyway because, well, I'm a brewery and, well, not all of me is a brewery, I am part of a brewery. That'd be quite impressive if I was a human brewery. Although some have said I, I am, but I, anyway. Um, going off on a tangent and we're at like seconds in. Right, um, so... I don't normally review beers. This is something that I think is just because I can't really say if I don't like it and I don't want to bash on the competition. I, you know, it's just a matter of opinion, but I just don't want to be that person. However, Travis, our friend uh, from Australia, who uh, I met in the Stone Crow, Simon's uh, uh, massive virtual pub, uh, which has kept me going through lockdown. Um, and Trav is a legend, he's just hilarious and he sent me some beer and he said review some so I thought you know what I'm going to review some and um, the first one we've got is this uh, it's from Feral Brewing Company uh, it's a West Coast IPA um, now I, I did look up I've got it on my other screen here um, they're in uh, Swan Valley in Western Australia um, Bakersville to be exact um, but what's really interesting is it says Coca-Cola owns them now um, I discovered recently uh, that there are many versions of Coca-Cola and very uh, very wide range of different aspects of what Coca-Cola do so um, there is another company which um, is a Japanese beer that's owned by Mitsubishi and they own a Coca-Cola bottling plant. So it's like the Coca-Cola's all over the place. Um, so it's not, you know, I don't think it's a bad thing. Um, it's got some funny stuff written all over it. And uh, what's really cool is on their website when you go in and it says, uh, it says, are you 18? In fact, I'll do it now because it's so silly. It says, uh, you know, our, like on our website it pops up, it says, uh, are you 18? On theirs, um, it pops up. Oh no, it's probably because I've already been in. It's not going to do it again. It says like, "Are you over eighteen? How do you hold a a torch? And are you fighting a bear? And some like really random stuff. It's brilliant, very funny. And on ours, it looks normal. But if you click that you're under eighteen, it takes you to CBBS. So yeah, little known fact there for you. So right, I'm gonna. I'm going to open this. Um, also, the cans are a different size out there. Uh, they're 375. And I know in Australia they do something called a schooner. Um, I only know this because I came across it in Leeds, at a place called Meat Liquor, that do burgers and fries and stuff. And they sell their beer in schooners. And I think schooner is 375. It's not a bad size, to be honest. Um, I quite like it. It's just like in between being too small and too big. So I quite like it. Um, so let's get this out. Love the colour. I've got loads of coloured lights on though, so um, that could skew that, but I can hold it up to this white screen here. So it's a, on the can it says it's a 18 years anniversary, um, which is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, brewed by 18 years of instinct. That's what it says. Look at that, that looks fantastic. I'll hold this up to the camera. Look at that. Little bit of haze on there. Now it is very, very cold. Um, well, I say very, very cold. It's probably colder than it should be because it's been in the fridge. And you, you know, you get hot haze. Um, it might be, does it say whether it's meant to be hazy or not? I don't know, but it's, it's ever so slightly hazy. Great color. Um, if you see it from my side with the light coming through, it's a like proper bright yellow. Um, Oh wow, smells great. Now I had one of their other ones that uh, Travis sent me whilst I was doing the low live on Paul's beer reviews. And that that, that was exceptionally good, so. Oh, it just smells really fruity. And very tropical fruit, not, not like apples and pears. Uh, but definitely, it's very sweet smelling, not like, um, it's got a little bit of mango. Not that, you know, that guavery sort of cat pea smell, doesn't have that. Um, hoppy. 
it's just really sweet smelling and really like peach and um, yeah probably peach apricot kind of sweet 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 fruit right let me give it a go Oh wow, wow, gosh that packs a punch, goodness me, why be Jesus? Oh that might, <laughs> I was like, flipping it, <laughs> it's 9%, <laughs> just in case you didn't know, I was like checking, I was like, wow, wow that is mega, oh let me do that again, because that was just an awesome experience, don't you like that when you get a beer? And it's just not what you expected it to be. Hmm. Wow. Wow. Massive punch of. Wow. Where'd you start? Okay, so it's got that real. Out. I can feel it. That nine percent alcohol. I can taste the alcohol in my mouth. I can feel that nine percent. It's got that sort of bittery um, taste that you get from, or that alcoholic taste like you'd find in whiskey or something like that. But then it's got loads of fruit, absolutely like juice explosion, hop explosion in your mouth. Um, the only place I've had a beer like this was when I was in New York. I And I couldn't tell you what it was. And it was on, it look, I saw somebody else drinking it and I liked the glass. I said, oh, can I have one of those? And that blew my socks off like this did. Um, that's excellent. There's loads of grapefruit. That's, my brain said it smells like mango and peach and stuff like that, but the, the flavor is not corresponding with what I can taste. It's mainly that sort of grapefruity, um, vibe I'm getting from it. Um, very bitter. It's got um, almost like a. If somebody said it had lactose in it, I'd believe them. It's very creamy. Um, but I, you see that with West Coast anyway. But that's really good. Like really good i can see why you're in business for 18 years um i don't know i can hardly read that all right okay so now reading it this is what they say about it um heaving with citrus pine and passion fruit flavor so pine i didn't get that much passion fruit okay some sort of tropical fruit fruity stuff um probably is passion fruit to be fair a citrus um is it well yeah because of the grapefruit massive yeah citrus bang in the face with a with a mash paddle oh it's dank bold and bitter yeah definitely um i don't know what, what whether they use dank in the same way as we do but um very bold definitely bitter it's really, really good. Yeah, I like that. Um, thanks, Trav. I'm, I'm going to have to finish it off. So, unfortunately, I'd have a photo on the thumbnail of, of what it looks like, but I'm going to drink it, so it's tough. So, there, <laughs> there you go. My first ever beer review of somebody else's beer. It's blooming banging. Love it. Well done, Feral Brewing Co. From one brewery to another. That's flipping awesome. I'd love to come to your tap room and have this. And apparently they've got a brew pub as well. Mm. I'd like to see more of this in the UK. It's really good. Very, very good. Um, yeah. And uh, as uh, Beer Dog uh, Reviews would say, uh, please like, comment, subscribe, press the bell notification. And he does all the pointing because he knows where everything is, but I don't. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it's awesome. So... Thank you for watching my video and have a lovely evening, day or whatever you're about to do. See you later, animagators. And now I can't work out how to end the video. I'm trying to find the right button. Ever the professional.
If you've watched this far, then well, <clears throat> thought I'd do something a bit interesting for you and slightly silly. You uh, go into our website, lordsbrewing.com, and when you come to the end of your purchase, type in hashtag kangaroo in capital letters, then you'll get £5 off. That was worth watching this video for, if nothing else. And if you start to the end, pretty awesome. I look a bit like Paul's beer reviews. Except I'm not ginger. No, I'm not. I'm not.